The reason why I chose to do uh, science projects um, or science based projects um, around the bike track was because we got the Bikes and Schools um, track last year and it actually um, worked in quite well because Term 2 was our science focused term and um, I wanted to use um, the bike track uh, as our uh, platform for learning and so it just seemed to fit really well with um, our school curriculum. Our project is on Hit the Brake. It's about which brake is safest in the bike track and which one to pull if um, the person in front of you stops. We were testing the seesaw and seeing if it was safe. We used the bikes to go over and did different speeds. Slow doesn't work because you get too wobbly and fast you could jump right off the end. So I'd go medium speed over it. So we go in a mirror like this, but um, we mirror like this, but and we put it on the handle of the bike. So then when we had to get off the pump track, we could just look backwards. We did a project um, about making the um, school bike track funner and um, more adventurous and we can do more stuff and we were thinking to put a jump in. Um, with a bike track I guess yeah you can get used to being with other people and um, it's kind of helping you um, to bike when you go on roads. Um, so they all had something different that they found from their experience on the track um, and then they got into groups and um, and identified the problem and then unpacked using the science investigation process um, how they were going to go about exploring um, solving the problem or at least uh, understanding the problem further. Um, so then they went about uh, creating a, um, a test that they were going to use to, um, to solve. Uh, then they decided what materials they would need um, the method that they were going to go through to test uh, and, and then um, the data collection. Uh, following that they had to identify their results from their data and uh, what their conclusions would be from that, um, from that exploration.